talk about an experience I had. Um, a couple weeks ago, my boyfriend and I went to a frozen yogurt shop. I will not name. Um, and the customers in front of us went, and the guy asked them, because they had the list of flavors and the list of yogurt, and he asked, oh, is your, your mango, is that like mango frozen yogurt, like blended in, or is that mango on top of the yogurt? Um, and the girl was like, oh no, that's pieces of mango on top of the frozen yogurt. And the family ordered and they walked away. And I was still deciding, I wasn't at the window yet. Um, but I could hear the girls in the truck speaking very loudly, um, saying, like, swearing, saying, how stupid can you be? Always like, look at the size of our truck, we couldn't fit all the machines for all those flavors. And they're just going on and on. And it really made me uncomfortable as a customer, um, thinking, like, First off, who are these girls and what what place are they to say such things? Uh, and like, if their bosses knew, obviously the owners weren't around. Um, but if the owners were around, they would have lost their jobs like that, you know, because it was just so disrespectful to them and it made me self-conscious. Like, what are they going to say about me after I go and order food? Um, and so that's just one thing I think that we can all work on. Because uh, I know, at least me, sometimes I do vent about customers or I do... Um, like people come ask for ice cream and like this is a fish and chip truck, you know, <laughs> there's different things where um, it's okay to vent but make sure you do so in a respectful way. And that's my business tip. Thank you.